Hey guys, I hope you're having an amazing Sunday. This week, I wanted to do another super quick bullet journal plan with me. I am using my standard vertical layout because I just have a lot of things to do this week and a lot of lists. So yeah, I really like doing this vertical layout because it's less decorative and I can just keep making my list down the page. So right now I'm just taking my Tombow dual brush pens and I'm actually alternating between a baby blue and a mint color. That's just to create a backdrop for the days of the week. So to brush letter that in, I'm using the Tombow Fit and No Skip brush pen in the hard tip. Usually I'll combine Saturday and Sunday into the weekend, but this week I decided to split them up because I did new releases yesterday, which was Saturday, and normally I have different tasks to do on new release days. Also, just a reminder that if you do use the Tombow brush pen as a backdrop, you should definitely let it dry first before you brush lighter on top of it just because it will bleed together. So yeah, you'll see me throughout the plan with me use the brush pen and not do anything with it, just letting it dry and then going back to it. After lettering in the days of the week, I'm then going to write down the date underneath the days. And then I'm drawing the box that I do for every single one of my vertical layouts. This is kind of just like the most important thing of the day or the highlight of my day. And I always like to use a little character sticker to mark those things. So for Monday, I just put down this sleep sticker from Kina Prince to mark in that I treated myself and slept in without setting an alarm, which was awesome. And then for Tuesday, I put down this mouse sticker. This one is from Granny Tail Plans to mark in that I printed a bunch of custom stickers and die cuts. And then for Wednesday, I put down a shopping emoji from my shop to mark in that I went to the mall with my friend. And for Thursday, I put down a laptop emoji to mark in that I wanted to show off the new bean samplers. You guys seem to really like the new bean samplers and I'm really, really excited to start shipping them out. For Friday, I put down a foiled mint heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts to mark in that um, I had new releases, but I actually meant to put it on Saturday, so I just drew in a little arrow. And then I, once again, am going to be skipping over most of the parts where I write just because it's pretty boring to watch. Um, underneath my to-do list on Monday, I put down a Mermody sticker from my shop, and also I decided to make a little swatch with my Tombow brush pen to create a backdrop for what I wanted to do. So basically on Monday, I wanted to print and cut a bunch of the summer collection orders. So I just made a to-do list underneath that, kind of as a sub to-do list for things that I had to print and cut. Moving on to Tuesday, I just wrote down some more to-dos and then I put down this flag sticker from Two Little Bees and I wrote on top that I was running out of supplies. And then underneath the flag, I just made a huge list of things that I had to order, just like envelopes and cellophane bags and stuff like that. And this new smoothie place opened recently, I think. I haven't been home in a few months, so I don't actually know if it's brand new, but I tried their smoothies and it was really good. Um, so to mark that, I put down this rabbit onesie sticker from the healthy eating sheet. For Wednesday, I really wanted to use one of the pop-up laptops that I just released yesterday and I didn't fill it out on camera because, of course, what I want to write down is a little secret. I put down this Running Girl sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. to mark in that I had to quickly finish the new bean samplers because I wanted to sneak them on Thursday. And then moving on to Thursday, I used a phone sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design to mark in that I wanted to reveal the new samplers. The foiled bow box is from The Given Girl and it is so beautiful. Also, I don't think I mentioned it, but the pen that I'm using is the Muji Gel Pen in 0.5. So I just made the rest of my to-do list underneath, and then moving on to Friday, once again, I'm making my to-do list. I wanted to fit in a little quote, so I just took the mint brush pen and created another backdrop. And of course, I'm going to let that dry first. Um, also, I'm using the laptop emojis to mark in that I streamed the Raptors game on Wednesday and Friday. Again, I'm really sad that I'm not actually in Toronto right now, and by the time I go back to summer school, this series should be over, so yeah, I do miss out a little bit. 
Anyways, that's about it for this plan with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you loved it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!